and welcome back to the Future Connected. Let's actually go through this gate now. After I go peek around the corner. I was gonna say, I still don't believe you're gonna go through that fucking gate in this video, our gate. Yeah, I wouldn't believe me either. I mean, I can't disagree that, you know, doing literally anything except what the plot tells you to is sort of like how you're supposed to play Xenoblade games, but... At some point, you do, in fact, have to do it. Yeah, except, and I ran out of side stuff, yeah. so now is yeah. the time. Yeah, the, the only exception to that is Xenoblade X, where basically, like, it holds the plot hostage until you do the side quests. You okay? Miss Melly, what's wrong? Is Tummy hurty? No, nothing like that. I'm just remembering what we heard at Companion's Cape. I have been mistaken in my thinking. The war is over and peace has been restored. We are rebuilding slowly. Okay, so I've already forgotten what the, like what even happened at Companions Cave that we're referencing here. Uh, we learned that something called the Fog King has moved into Alchemoth and uh, has kicked everyone out. So. Oh, oh, right. That was where the that was that was the garrison then. Yeah, yeah, th yeah. That's that's our main plot thread. And then we also know of a reverse racist that is uh. Trying to prop up Melia. So, landlords and racists. I thought only of me. Yep. But you didn't. Not at all. The high end here of Colony 9. Actually, everyone who remained. You worked hard for them. You, Dunban, and Atharon led by example. Just so that others could smile. Yes, yes, keep on happy. Huh? Some major juju erasure there. <laughs> But still full of bones. Kino. You're to blame, but I'm still happy. Ha ha ha. Every day. I did not even want to go potty alone. Sis. What the, what the, why you bring that up? They're completely irrelevant to discussion. Embarrass Kino, not your up, Miss Melly. Agree to disagree. Anyway, cannot abandon hope. That upon's words. Hope. To become the hope of the high India. If only we could it's hang out with Ricky. That you choose for yourself. Oh well, at least he's still continuing to be the best character by proxy. That you will be worthy of that name. Yeah. You are the hope of the high India. You will not transform into a Telethia. Even after the because you are you can still your... succeed the Imperial <laughs> line. I, you have I the honestly wish they did Ricky's awesome. take on that line instead. You are the hope of the bird people. <laughs> <laughs> and yet she can't fly with her wings. Thank you. I think I no, all she needs to do is just have Shulk build her a jetpack or something. Is. They say sometimes trauma is required for you to learn how to fly. Onward, push her off. To Alchemoth. Why can't it be like the Peter Pan principle where it's like, happy thoughts can t make you fly, I don't know. Oh fuck, Melee doesn't have anything to be happy about. Okay, never mind then. <laughs> I don't know if I'd say she's, like, in a good mood through most of Future Connected, but I think she'll probably get there by the end. God, how come Shulk misses the prime time? The one time it would have worked. Everybody with me. Sometimes, when I'm sad, I force myself to laugh to make me happy. Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 
Sure, it's working there, buddy. I just want Final Fantasy and again. Well, we can we can see about that uh, after we help. Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce. It. I'm just gonna call him Eleven. Look, looked like it looked like it was trying to be Look, Evelyn. Yeah, it looked like Evelyn. Okay. But, but seriously, Arga, if you end this LP on a tease for LPing Final Fantasy 13 or Final Fantasy 10 again. <laughs> again? Then, Wait, what? I was about to say what again? Uh, what? What did I do it the first time? <laughs> hey, you know. This is your opportunity, Arge. You can you can connect the future to the past. Yeah, LP it once and then LP it again. Nice job. I'm pretty sure if Chaos was gonna LP it again, it would be 10-2. <laughs> why the fuck? That's, that's yeah, why twice the fuck not? <laughs> If you think about I it, the, I can LP the PS2 version, then the Switch version. <laughs> well, so it's either 10-2 or 10-2 or 10-2. Yep. Do it 10 yeah, twice? Yeah, 10 T O O 10 2. No, no, advertise it as 10 2, but then just do 10 again. <laughs> 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 Every I have the title just be like everything seems so familiar. <laughs> it's, it's the same schedule posting, the same replies. I mean, I, I like I said I as I was trying to just sort of imply before like I would not be down for like commentating on it, but I'd definitely be down to watch it because like I'm one of those people who actually legitimately likes and enjoys Ten. It's fine. Yeah, I thought 10 wasn't one of the polarizing ones. Yeah, basically, like, 10 is kind of the point where, like, everything after that is the part, the part where it falls apart for Final Fantasy. Like, no one else really seems to think so, but, like, they knocked 9 out of the fucking park, and then they were just like, okay, 10 was the bat flip, and then... Everything past 10 was, they actually got tagged out at, at first base. <laughs> just going off of what you just said, I feel like 8 might have been the, uh, the point where it starts getting, uh, kind of weird. Like, 8's got its flaws, but, uh, you know, 8, eight is a fever like, dream. I have no mm. other way to describe it. I mean, like, literally, like, an entire quarter of the game is just, she's in a coma, so you're not that wrong about it. I suppose this is the part where I say the only Final Fantasy I've actually hit credits on is, uh, 7, and I got real close with 1 and 4. 1 is barely a game, even, honestly. So, like, well, hell, yeah, so I hit credits on Final Fantasy 1, and I did that basically sleepwalking my way through it. I never actually finished it, but, like, yeah, it's it's just some guy's knockoff D&D campaign. You're not missing anything. Yeah, I know. Basically, just it was Garland all along. Well, if it makes you feel better, uh... Tactics Advanced, and Tactics Advanced 2. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you know, I've I've done uh one, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, and thirteen two fuck you, Artix. I can't believe that you didn't play the greatest game of our generation, Final Fantasy thirteen three, Lightning Returns. <laughs> oh I also uh Complete tactics and the remake of tactics too, and credits as well. You're right. But yeah, I know. I ironically, yeah, the the best one in that uh, trilogy, and it's the only one that I haven't actually really touched yet. You say it's the best one, but isn't that the one Artix hates? It's fine. They're all they're all fine. 
They're just different. They're, they're just all going for completely different things. Yeah, it's basically the Star Wars sequel trilogy of video games. The Bionis shoulder was once inhabited by the Giants, a highly advanced race. There used to be many islands floating above Erisi, you know. Kinano, teeny tiny islands floating in sky. Very fantastic view. I suppose Ricky never told his child about how much of a pain in the ass it was to get around uh, Erisi then. <laughs> Hoverstone? Jesus. Also, you know, Shulk is leaving out a lot about the Giants. Alright, I need, I need to know from uh, all three of you, as well as the thread, is Unobtainium or Hoverstone the worst name for a uh, fake material in a property? <laughs> I'm still feeling Unobtainium. Same. That's why the book's author might like, only be speculating. It was literally supposed to originally just be a screenwriting term, and then, like, fucking James Cameron turned around and made it an actual real story thing. Oh no. I'm positive there are things I don't know. Dad upon say, friend Shulk is brainy smart, know everything. And also brave and cool, and could do anything if he put mind to it. Did. Did he really? I'm actually a little embarrassed now. Nothing to be embarrassed about! It's only a good thing. He also say Shulk is number one sidekick of Dunapon! Next in line of awesome! <laughs> I see. <laughs> good old Ricky. If only we could see him again. Yeah, I'm digging all this, uh... Hey, hey, we're definitely going to give Ricky some character development here. Conversation. Remember all those fun characters he used to play as? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just just trying to play Nene only makes me miss uh, Ryan time. <laughs> I mean, at least... At least of the two, she's... She's the good one. Yeah, but that's only because she's not tall enough to reach any of the buttons that would end the world. So <laughs> <laughs> say, uh, what's his face just gets to be like, I'm Sharla, and everyone's like, that's nice, go away. Have to practice that at home once they get back. Right, oh. so come. Sorry, are you first? No, I was literally just gonna say, oh, I remembered. I also beat Final Fantasy XII at some point. So literally irrelevant to what's going on, so you continue, please. <laughs> oh. I was gonna say, so here, here's the Burrow Plaza, leading into the Burrow Ruins, and uh, we got another Pond Spectre here at the edge of this cliff, about to be devoured by these ants. There's a joke about a really shitty internet person that I could make here, but I'm going to refrain from it. <laughs> I thought one of the ants just walked itself off the edge, but no, it just walked around. <laughs> Nice job. That feel like run of polymil. 
think Deca Deca's friend might just be an asshole, but I don't know. <laughs> Halfway done with blue team. Now jump off the abyss and see if you get the entire train of them to follow you. <laughs> I'm always lie. certain they would. I was saying, not gonna lie, I'd be pretty disappointed if they didn't. <laughs> Just like, did any of you play like lemmings? Like when you were growing up? Of course. <laughs> Just like that, only with Nopon. <laughs> I was about to so say, what kind, of lemmings clone, <laughs> what kind of Lemmings clone would this be if they didn't uh, just jump off the edge with you? bridge of this song like really weirds me out because like it's got like the exact same note arrangement as like a uh, the Xeno the Xeno Saga episode 2 ending theme so like I kind of half expect it to like just start playing the rest of that song and then it goes on to something completely different can't say I've heard that one but yeah there's more than a couple of songs that just kind of do that for me in uh, Future Connected. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll link it to you after we're done uh, with this video. Yeah, just, just off the top of my head, uh, there is a later battle theme we'll get to in a couple videos that, uh, like, just if I just click into a random part of it, like, I just start thinking, like, is oh, is this the, the Torna battle theme? But it, it's not. Like, it's so good, it's just... It, so it basically sounds like the Torna battle theme. Just gonna run on past the uh, train of monsters that's after me. Just ah, see the train of. It's okay. See, see, we made it to the landmark, so you know, whatever. Yeah. Now yeah, we can die in peace. Yeah, just yeah, sick. We'll come back here. Yeah, just sick the train of Nopon on the train of monsters. Quick, Deca Deca, use your monster uh, attractor. <laughs> Shulk turns into Ken Watanabe for a second. Let them fight. You know, I appreciate that at the end of the day, we, we got one to chase us all the way down to the end, and then as soon as we got around the corner away out of sight, we instantly just fucking turned around and checked it. <laughs> That's yeah, called it's strategy. A... We got goosed. It's a, it's a watch chilkin too, so it, it's the fucking scout. why they did it but I do think it's kind of interesting to think about just the uh the fact that you got monsters from all over the Bionis just kind of living up here on the shoulder yeah I was gonna say like was it was that a Satoru Marsh monster there like yeah there were some Satoru Marsh monsters there's a uh, I know we saw some Machna ones I think there were some Valak Mountain uh, monsters like that Chilkin anyway uh there are there I don't know why this, uh, grotesque- I almost said Dennis. Damus didn't show up the first time. But, uh... 
Yeah, I figure probably better to draw him over here so we don't have to uh, hatch its eggs. I mean, I, I do appreciate it that, uh, like, Shulk, Nene, and the rest of the Nalpon just all rushed at it, and you just kind of held back and just watched them go like, you fucking idiots. Guys, come back. I have a strategy. No! <laughs> So can the uh, can the pawn specters like actually take hits or anything for you, or are they just purely little support guys? They're just support guys. I think they just do damage and maybe heal. I thought we might have had enough to do an all-out attack, but no, we don't yet. So we're just gonna have to sit there with full party meter. I forget if you need like five or six of them before you can start doing all-out attacks. We can't go on like this! It's fine, Shulk, we got it. <laughs> Her walk animation is so... <laughs> like, yeah. It's so impossible. They clearly don't intend for a... Uh... I don't know what the fuck happened there. They clearly don't intend for you to walk at much in these games. Like, her run cycle is a little goofy, but it's fine. But, like, her walk cycle is, like, it's so stiff. And, like, she never actually takes her feet off the ground, so she just, like, glides everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's not great. Now I just want to see the other characters if they're also as impossible. <laughs> yes, they're chaos. Yeah, I got stuck there because my controller ran out of battery. And that's nice. the end of the LP, folks. See you later. <laughs> yep, we, we played one full set of batteries, and it's, it's over. I mean, I am kind of impressed that the, the one battery lasted me this long. <laughs>